Hey folks, my name is Ben, this is Moria Speedruns. It is show number 22, and it is January 24th, 2016. So, we're starting a new character today, so we'll see what that is like. But before we do that, we're going to do a Balrog fight autopsy. We're going to see why we couldn't hit the Balrog. Uh, so our wheel of source code is a little bit longer today. It's about 20 minutes, so if you want to just skip to the gameplay, because you don't want any spoilers, because it's a pretty big spoiler. Um, just, uh, go jump about 20 minutes ahead or so. All right, let's play the game. Before we get started, let's check out... Why we couldn't hit the Balrog! All right, let's do the autopsy here, folks. I've rigged the wheel! <laughs> I want to see how that test hit function works. So I rigged the wheel to only bring up test hit. 17 lines long, but this is going to be a little bit more complicated than that. We're going to dig down in and see why it is that we couldn't do it. Test hit. Well, you know what? Let's just check, uh, check the caller first, shall we? Test hit. There it is. There is the caller. We're passing in a base to hit. This is based on our race and class. We're passing in the level of our character. We're passing in a, a total to hit value. Comes from above there somewhere. And we're passing in the AC of the Balrog. That's what that is. And then we're saying, um, what kind of hit is this? And uh, it's th this this one here is the regular hit. It's the regular melee hit, melee hit. So that is the context in which the test hit function happens in. Okay, remember that. Well, we'll come back to this because this function really isn't that long and we need to figure out what these values are that are coming in. Attackers level and pluses, defenders AC, RAK, Robert Allen, Konecki. So here's the deal. Look at that. Uh, plus two hit could be less than zero if the weapon is too heavy. Okay, it wasn't too heavy for us. We know that. Always miss 1 out of 20, always hit 1 out of 20. So it gives us a 5% hit chance as the lowest, around 5% anyway, for to be the lowest percent chance of hitting. So it adds up that I value. And if we roll a, a huge sided die, if it's over the AC of the monster, which does not change, it's it's static. It's not randomized in any way. Um, I don't think, anyway. Um, yeah, if, if, if we roll higher than the AC, then yes, we hit. Uh, and then we go about figuring out what the damage is, and we're not gonna get into that. We're not even gonna look at the damage. We just wanna know why the hell we couldn't hit the Balrog. Okay. So we pass in, uh, we, we add up these values, the base to hit. Um, I'll just tell you what the numbers are here. That one right there is 29 and it's static. It's just the race class, the race uh, bonus, which is, oh, what is it here? Hmm, it's 34. So an elf is 34, and the class, a mage, gets a minus 5 base to hit. So this value here is a 29. Plus, okay, our plus to hit was 11, which is fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Um, so that's like a, a serious chunk of uh, a bonus that other players just won't get. So that's good. That This value here is a 3. It's just a static. 
So it looks like that so far. Now we do this, this last part. Our level, our level was 32. We were a level 32 elf mage. Uh, multiplied and all of that rah, runs out to be a two if we go look that up. So that is uh, our I. Every time we hit the Balrog, that is what our I came out to. What does that add up to? Answer? 126. That's pretty good, right? Seems okay. Huh. So the big question is, what is the AC of the Balrog? Just gotta say that. Balrog. AC 125, folks. 125. So, okay. So that's where we're at right now. Let's just do a quick check. I haven't checked this yet. I just want to make sure that the uh, monsters, the AC of the monsters, isn't randomized in any way. So I think it's called uh, Alloc Monster. Should be hanging around somewhere. And uh, there it is in uh, MISC 1. No, it's not that. It's not that. Oh, place wind, wind monster, even better. Doo -doo -doo. Our HP gets maximized. I don't see an AC here, do you? I do not. Interesting. Hmm. Place monster. Maybe this will have it. You know what? I'm I'm presuming that there is even there must be an AC, but what's it called? Because I, I don't see an AC there either. Types. Monster type. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so that means uh, it takes the index here somewhere. That. And it gets it from the creature type, which is in its own file. And AC would be right there. Okay, so that means indeed the AC is not changing. That's what that means, folks. Where were we here? What file were we in? Was it Moria 3? Moria 1. All right. So that's where we're at. Um, now, here's the deal. We roll a 126-sided die right here, and we only hit it <laughs> if we roll a 126. Exactly. If we roll a 1 or 2, all the way up to 125, the Balrog wins, and we do not hit. Unless... We just hit one of these magical 1 out of 20s, which is what this is. All right, so that's why we couldn't, that's why we couldn't hit it. That's why the about, it makes perfect sense now. So what could we have done to increase our chances? All right. See this? Um, well, first thing is this little chunk of code. We could see the Balrog. The Balrog wasn't invisible. So we didn't do that. Which cuts our base to hit way back. Instead, we just took the base to hit of our player, which again, it was 29. But see that tot to hit, that total to hit right here on the end? Uh, that's our two hit, which was 11. But it's adding to something here. What's going on? So let's go look backwards here. 
Um, you can see that this attack blows function is uh, taking that, taking that tot to hit and giving it a value. So let's just have a look at that. So here it is. Now, attack blows is returning the number of blows that we get per round, which is pretty significant. We have our strength. It's based on our strength and our dexterity. Now, our strength in the game happened to be 15, no, 21, and our dexterity was 15. Now, this is a, a fancy way to do it. It, it. That means it's 18 plus 3 plus 30, right? So that's why it's 21 and, you know, you don't see, you, you see this, which is 18 plus 3.0. Make sense? Good. Dexterity was way low. So this check right here is, oopsie, checking to see if it's too heavy. Now, the weight being passed in is the darned weapon, and the weapon is super heavy. The weapon's weight is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. It was that Executioner's Sword. 260. So S times 15, 21 times 15, right? Ugh. 21 times 15 is 315. Versus 260. So I guess I could have done that like this. Maybe. No, I can't. Um, so, that is not true. Our strength is higher than that. Our strength is a lot higher than that. So we fall into this. And then our, our two-hit thing, it gets set to zero. So what it means is, um, if it's too heavy, the total to hit goes to a negative value. That's all that does. Otherwise, it's zero, and now we're just depending totally on our dexterity and our and our strength and the weight of the weapon. So our dexterity was 15, which means our dex index is one, and we're gonna look it up in this blows table eventually. So this value on the right hand side is a one. Over here, the next part is to figure out our strength index. Our strength was 21. So 21 times 10 is 210, divided by weight, which is 260. So that means we're way under that. <laughs> that means this is our index. <laughs> so we have a dex index of 1 and a stir index of 0. And then we go look that, look that up in the blows table. So um, let's see, which way is it? So dex, we go 0, 1. Hmm, let's go back. Yeah. So it's the 0 width for strength, and it's the, the, the 1 width for dexterity. So that means it's right here. So we get 1 hit per round. If our strength was maxed out, Sorry, if our dexterity is maxed out, we'd still get one. If we had a lighter weapon and a higher strength, we might be able to get two blows. But that's a very heavy weapon. So what I'm getting at here is these blows are a multiplier to our two hit. We get multiple chances per round. If, uh, if we get, you know, if we max out our strength and we max out our dexterity and we have a decently light weapon we could have th three we could have three hits per round but as you might recall 
way back here. Where was it? Yeah. We still only have 126. So what can we do to change that? And the answer is, well, we can up our level. We can go to level 33, level 34, level 35, which takes a long time, but we don't want to do that. <laughs> we want to beat the Balrog quickly. So we can add about six there just by sticking around. So we could do that. Another way is to modify our base to hit magically. Um, there are three ways to do it. You can uh, have a scroll of blessing, which modifies it by five. You can have a potion of heroism, which modifies it by 12, temporarily, of course. And you can have a potion of super heroism, which modifies it by 24. So, and the cool thing about these particular potions and scrolls are, is you can put them all together. You can quaff a potion of heroism and then quaff a potion of super heroism and get, and get both bonuses temporarily. And you can even cast the, you can read the scroll of blessing. So if you add all those up, what does that come to here? Uh, 17 plus 24 is 41. Am I right there? Yeah. So 126 plus 41 is 167. So we could have thought about this a little bit more and saved up some of those potions because it looks like we really needed it. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm getting at here is now all of a sudden our chances are better, right? Because if you take your 167 and subtract the Balrog's uh, AC 42, so it's uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> I'm having a brain freeze here. 42 divided by 167 is a 25% chance of hitting the Balrog rather than um, a 1 <laughs> out of 126. Not even a percent. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we couldn't hit him. That's exactly why we couldn't hit him. So we could really increase our chances that way. Um, let's see, one more thing before I go. Um, it's, uh, it's back to that Moria 3. PY attack. I'm lost. There we go. Loop for each number of blows. We really needed that. We really totally needed that. Um, our weapon was um, 260 and 4 die 5. 260 is very heavy. A, uh, a Warhammer is 3 die 3 and only 120. So that Executioner's Sword, you know how to spell it, was a poison pill. There was no getting extra blows with it. There is no way that we could get more than one. This is a, it's a warrior's weapon. A warrior could do something with this. A mage cannot. <laughs> it's not good. It's a poison pill. We were doomed. That sword, we thought it was good was horrible for a mage. Horrible. The Warhammer, only 120, right? Um, that would have changed our our uh, ability to hit the Balrog because that those indices to the blows table uh, would have improved. Now, we also needed a better dexterity and a better strength. So there's no getting around that. Next time we play, we got to max out those two values before we, you know, before we get to the Balrog. We have to. So, anyway, um, and the last, the very last thing, obviously, is another Ring of Speed. That would have, again, multiplied our chances. 
So take all those things together. Uh, increase the number of blows. Increase the number of uh, hits we get with with another speed item. With two speed items. And uh, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, and then the quaff those potions of heroism and superheroism. And it would have been a very different result, folks. Ah, all right. That is the test hit function of, where are we? Mario1.c of the G Mario sources. Whew, and that concludes the Balrog optop, op, ugh, excuse me, autopsy, but why we couldn't hit the darn Balrog. All right, let's play the game. Oh man, I could use a shave, eh? All right, let's play. There's our timer. We're gonna play the hardest a character there is. We probably won't last very long. That's a halfling, hobbit. Uh, we'll go male. Female, I think. Let's go male. I was gonna say, I think a female starts out with more money, but I'm not sure about that anymore. So, <clears throat> Uh, we want to be a rogue. We want to be a halfling rogue. So what are the best uh, stats for halfling rogue? Well, I'd say the constitution is very important because we're going to start out with so few hit points. So constitution would be important. And you'd think that a rogue a dexterity would be important. But really I'm leaning towards strength. So we can carry stuff early on. So that's what I'm thinking. So let's go Constitution Strength. And I'll allow myself 20 rolls. Only 20. And then we take 15 and 9. That's pretty good. Can we do better than that? Let's try. 11, 13. Well, that's even. That's 2. That's probably the best we're going to get right there, folks. Let's stick with that. Escape. Ooh, social class of eight. I already accepted. Oh, no. <laughs> you are one of several children of a halfling miller. You are the black sheep of the family. You have hazel eyes and straight red hair. What? Hobbit with red hair and a dark complexion. Well... Social class of eight means that we're going to have no money to start. <laughs> Yay. So we have to pick a name. I, we didn't pick a name. Ah, what am I doing here, folks? Okay, there's a way that I can generate a name. <laughs> uh, I forget. Is it just control N? Nope. Uh, control Alt N. There it is. Baldor is our name. Baldor. There. We now have Baldor all set up. All right. So, what's our goal? 123. Oh, we're going to die so fast in this. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a quick one. I have played this character before. So you know. But I've never done very well with this character. So, hmm. What do you think here? Well, that cap is cheap. Hmm, only 123 gold pieces. We're going to have to go with the soft leather armor. Okay. And we're going to purchase the hard leather cap. I'm going to wear those, see what it gets us to. 78 gold pieces left, and AC of 9. Um, we could maybe afford that shield, but we'll leave it. 
and we're going to go get a weapon. Perhaps our weapon is already good enough. There's no short sword, which is what I was hoping for. Oy vey. Well, to top it off, how about we go to... You gotta make sure we don't run into anybody here. Oh, especially him. We can run into him. We want to get phase door scrolls. And there's none. <laughs> so we can't even get the get out of jail free card. Son of a... How are we going to possibly live? It makes no sense. There's no shovel. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Oh, phase door. There we go. What was I thinking? Let's go with uh, two of them. Okay. 41 gold pieces left. And there are the stairs. Angie looking leper heading for us. Okay, we're in the dungeon. So you know the deal here, folks. You know the deal. Um, we can't be careful enough. No running. And here we are in our first room. There is a rodent. Normally, I would just cast Magic Missile at him. But we can't do that. We can't do that this time. <laughs> so we have to, like, run into him. Ugh. He hit us for two. Okay, we got him. That's one. Light brown potion. A light brown potion is... A light brown potion is always apple juice. Always, always, always. So, the rest of them all mix up. But the light brown potion remains apple juice in every game. Bye bye Alright. So, here is our next enemy, the floating eye. He might be able to paralyze us. Or maybe not. Okay, we're at two experience. There's some gold in the wall that we can't get. And there's the way back up to the town. Oh no, we're going to die right here. Well, I'm not going to stair camp. No matter what, I'm not going to stair camp. Uh, we have our scrolls. We can try that. Wow, you hit, you hit, you hit. How did we hit him three times? Can you riddle me that? It's because our dexterity, our blows, our blows table is high because of our dexterity. Very good. He hit us for three, but we hit him three times with our uh, dagger. You hit, you hit, you hit. Is he going to die? We're at six. Let's hit him again. He's not going to hit us for six. <sighs> All right. I like this game. That was awesome. If we get that many hits every time with a light weapon like a dagger. Uh, damage bonus? No. We don't want to see any charts. <laughs> Maybe this won't be so bad. Shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> Maybe this won't be so bad. <clears throat> oh, no. Eleven hit points. We slayed him. Okay. Um, you gotta like our chances here, really. This is surprisingly easy. I almost feel like running in the dungeon. Level 2. Can't do anything with level 2, but what do you do? I do need to mention one thing. The rogue is a spellcaster in this game. Uh, we can't cast spells right away, but when we hit level 4 or so... Oh, crap. 
When we hit level 4, I should explain this here. When we hit level 4, we can get a magic book. And we can start casting magic missile. Black centipede, isn't he tough? We gonna die? If we walk into him like that, we are. Got him. Level three. He was tough, folks. Let's keep going. What's he? Normal white centipede. Holy moly, we can almost uh, get a, a magic book, but we only have 63 gold pieces. You know what? This number of blows, number of attacks that we get per round is helping us immensely. I'm not afraid of these kobolds anymore. There's a chromium wand. I'm running. <laughs> I'm running around the dungeon already. Uh, aiming our wand. Is it a wand of wonder or what? Slow monster. This is awesome, folks. I don't even, like, this is a cakewalk. Unless we get surrounded by this sort of situation, but it's okay. This guy is a t is way better at hitting guys. This character is, <laughs> this guy's way better at hitting guys. This guy can really kill monsters by hitting them. What am I doing? I just, <laughs> I'm trying to cast spells. My fingers want to play as a mage. Okay, here we go. Here's an edge. Appears to be stuck. Oh no. Not to worry. Hazy potion. A lot of these worms. Okay, back to an edge here. So, whoa, here's a fun room. We're going to be level four. How long until level four? Just one more point. What's that? Soft leather armor. We are wearing soft leather armor. We won't pick that up. A scroll. Another scroll. All sellable at the store. This is pretty good, folks. I gotta say. Okay, that's a dead end. We can't do anything about that. Level four, we can now go get a uh, magic book from the store. Flask of oil. So the heart, you might say this is too easy, Ben. This is, this is dumb. <laughs> Well, you might say it's dumb anyway, but um, the second they start paralyzing us, like we have to attack from afar, and we don't have anything that can do that. Oh, I wish I'd pick up that money. How's our map? Pretty good. I want to cast light room, but I can't. I'm not in a, in a room. So that's a major piece of the puzzle, just being able to light rooms. We score chart? Nah. Our score score is going to be so low. 
how do we get to the rest of it? There we go, we're at the edge. Oh, I wish I could get that money. Picking up stuff. Dead end. Can't do anything about it. Oh, we can. We can. We can read our scroll of phase door, shall we? Oh, we did it. But now that's really bad. Because now we... This this could be it for our character right here, folks. That was a bad idea. God, I hope there's a... Uh... Do you see what I just did? I think I just locked ourselves in a room that we can't get out of. Oh, oh that's bad. That's so bad. Why did I do that? <laughs> Oh, well, that's it, folks. Um, we're dead. We're dead unless we can phase door to the other side of that. No amount of digging with our uh, dagger is going to clear that. Oh, okay, it does. That's good. Phew, I was worried. I thought we were dead right there. Huh, I didn't know I could do that, actually. Learn something new every day. Yeah, but I can't get that. I can't get money. That's the difference. All right, we're done. Back up to the town. We got a pack of stuff. We'll sell it all off and get some more money. All right, folks, that is the beginning of Beldor. Beldor, the halfling rogue. He is kicking ass and taking names and giving haircuts. All right, him and his red hair, right? Red-haired Beldor. Look at that. That's pretty good. Okay, folks, we're out of time. Let's have a look at the charts. All right, all right. Let's have a look. Beldor. Whoa, that's big. That's better. Look at that. That was their black centipede right there. What do we get for him? Like 12... 35... So, what's that? 23 points or so. Wow. Experience level up and up and up. Hit points. Pretty easy going. We gained back all of our uh, gold pieces that we spent. No, no, we didn't. We're up here, weren't we? So we went zoom, straight down. Armor class of 9. So anyway, uh, not much to show here. We gained... Three, three full levels, which is nice. Hmm. Only 16 more experience needed. Not much to say about what we have on. One, two, so we can get uh, 30 gold pieces for those. Um, you know, maybe 17 each for those. You could sell that too. Very interesting. So we're going to have a, hopefully a couple hundred gold pieces to, to use. All right. So only 15 minutes. We're not going to be on any of the lists here, folks. <laughs> 0.27 of a day. 50 feet. Beldor not making the list. Beldor makes a list with experience. <laughs> 61. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty sad for old Beldor here. Alright, is that a mistake? We don't have 42 kills. 
What's going on? We have 42 experience. Don't we? 61 experience. Been confused. Is that a bug? Might be a bug. Certainly no dragon slain. What the? Okay, zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 36. Yeah, we have 36 hit points. Crappy. 10 things picked up. Very crappy there, too. And finally, a score of 868. Woo! I don't know what to say about that, folks. So, now what do we do? Oh, you're crooked. A little bit better. So what do we do from here? Um, sell all of our stuff, buy a magic book, look for a shovel. Uh, if a lantern is there, we'll buy that. Because, hey, we found that flask of oil. Free, free, free. So, those are the three things. Um, yeah, so now we can light up dark rooms once we buy that magic book, if it's even there. Yeah, it should be interesting. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do next. When we come back, uh, I'll, uh, I'll have sold off everything, and I'll be ready to buy stuff. So we'll do that together next time. All right, how about you start a game? You start a game, a halfling rogue, and we'll see how we compare. Don't play too much per day, though. Just play it a little bit, and we'll uh, see who goes farther, okay? All right, take it easy. Until next time, bye-bye.